Good morning. I'm waiting. The touch is on her way. She's just getting off the potty. Good morning, good morning. If you're watching the replay, please comment replay. Let me know that you watched. Got these primed here. I'm going to do eyes first. I've been digging doing eyes first. And then plus I'm not doing foundation any further than about here. Because my mask, and clearly masked knee is a thing. It's not fun. But what do you do? Figure out a new skincare routine for this area of my face. That's for sure. But I have not been putting makeup on down there. Anyways, I kind of fade it down. But I just don't really see a point. But I'm going to do eyes first. Um, it's caramel. Caramel is the theme for today. I'm going to do, I think, mostly creamy eyeshadows again. Some lip conditioner on my lips first. I know that mask dries me out. I said mask me is a thing. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. What do you do? Tuts up, up there. She was going potty. And she'll be coming down. We'll be coming down. Okay, so caramel, and I'm wearing like a beige shirt, and I've got a pink undershirt. So I kind of want to do like a pinky caramel, and I don't know if that makes any sense, but I have a vision in my head. And we'll see if it works out. I'm going to do the pink glow first. Wind him in the mirror. I've been using that orange pop like on the daily lately and I love it. But I'm going to try something a little different with it today. To try and make more of a caramel look I'm so proud of myself I'm bringing my eyeshadow up above the crease I usually just stop right there though my eyes are open like you can't even hardly see my eyeshadow so I'm proud of myself for doing that so I'm doing this kind of as like a base and then I'm going to work on the outer side to make my caramel look hopefully this goes as planned This pink glow creamy eyeshadow I think is so pretty. So it's not dark, it's just real shimmery. And I'll clean up the edges. But I'll do that other one as a base. And then I've got a plan and hopefully it works for the outer part to make it more caramel. -y. We'll see how this goes. See which brush do I want for that? Usually just use like a flatter brush to pack it on, but I think since I'm going on the outer corner, oopsies. Pencil shavings. This brush cleaned up because I have not washed it. Did like brown and green yesterday. There we go. So I'm hoping this works. I'm gonna combine these two. So the brown sugar and the orange pop. I'm gonna combine them together to kind of make a caramely look on the outside. And I've got pink glow everywhere kind of as a base. So I'm hoping this I'm hoping this works out. Oh, Tits is gonna be coming down. She's up up there. I think I'm going to dip into the orange first, and then the brown. Put that on the outer side. I'm not really seeing a difference yet.
working. There we go. Okay, where's she at? Where's she at? Oh, okay. Maybe she's not coming down. Watch me mess with us. Hubby's in the... It's crazy morning. <laughs> oh, hubby is taking his van to go get work done. My brother-in-law was just here, and they're talking back and forth, and I was waiting for Toots to come down. Apparently, she's in my bed watching Mickey Mouse upstairs by herself. Okay. So, that kind of worked. I'm... I don't know exactly what I was anticipating, but I've got the... I don't know if it looks like caramel. It's pretty. It's definitely pretty, and it'll match my, match my outfit today. But I think that will work but I am gonna clean up the around the edges with a little bit of bronzer from the peach bite palette so it's not just like a harsh stop with these creamy eyeshadows because once they're on they're on and they don't budge That actually looks really pretty. Not what I was going for, but the visions that I have in my head versus what actually happens are not usually the same. I think we could call that caramel. I think. Definitely shimmery way up higher. Ooh, so because of that, I'm gonna put some highlight from the Peach Bite palette up here. There we go. I need to do something with my brows. See all these pictures of all these gals doing all these awesome makeup looks, and when your brows are like done. I feel like it brings everything together so much more. I just, that's a whole new venture for me. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, get a little bit of foundation on my face, and then I'll do the lower lash line, and then I think it'll bring it together a lot more. That is some shimmery eyes. I love that. I usually just kind of stick to more of my lid with the creamy eyeshadows and I don't go all the way in or all the way up. So that's really pretty. I like that. Okay, so let's do a little bit of concealer. Make sure I don't have any fallout from that highlight. I probably I shouldn't, but just in case. The nice thing about the creamy eyeshadows is there's definitely no fallout. They just kind of go where you put them. This is the um, soft orange concealer. It helps hide dark circles and I dig it. Let's see if I can not poke myself in the eye. I feel like almost every time I do a live, it's either my mascara or an eyeshadow brush. Um, what was it the other day? Eyeliner, <laughs> something always jabs me in the eye. So then I go to take pictures when I'm done to show off my look, and I've got a red eye <laughs> from poking myself. Her tits moving around up there. I was hoping she'd come down. She digs her Mickey Mouse in the morning, that's for sure. That's like her wake-up time. Like, I like to sit in quiet for a minute and drink some coffee. She wants to lay in mommy's bed and watch Mickey Mouse. That's her thing. That's her thing. I'm going to do BB cream today. 
haven't done this one in a while. I've been doing the CC cream for the most part because it's like so it's only really going down to about here on my face and then kind of blending it down. But since I'm wearing a mask anyways, and mask knee is clearly a thing, unfortunately, um, I don't see a point in putting makeup down down where nobody's going to see it and it's just going to rub off anyways. So I'm going to go light. Yesterday I did VFX and I went a little bit heavy with it, but I, I blended it down just a little bit further than I normally would have these days, I guess. Good morning, Katrina. Somebody else is up early. So it looks so goofy, but I said with the fact that my skin is dry anyways, and then it's covered up and I don't know. Because really nobody sees me <laughs> when I don't have my mask on. And here the first few days I was doing, I'm like, this isn't that bad. Like, we are one of the last states, I think, to like mandate it. But, um, but I don't go anywhere. But it's mandated at work now. I'm like, oh, okay, it can't be that bad. The first few days, I'm like, oh, this isn't that bad. Put a drop of tea tree serum in your foundation to help with the acne from the mask. Oh, I could definitely try that. I wouldn't put it in the foundation because I don't do foundation down that far these days. But I could definitely try that in the morning, you know, just underneath it. Max, I've really only been going to about there because this is all going to be covered up anyways, you know. Nobody sees me. Unmasked. Oh, I love the way that BB cream blends out so nice. It's just the beauty balm is what beauty or BB cream stands for. Just tinted moisturizer. Just enough to even it out. And you can tell a huge difference in the color of my face. So but then I put the mask on and you can't tell. Yeah. It's kind of like when you do like a half face and show what one side looks like when it's all done on one side. Well, here's half and half. <laughs> just the other way. Oh, it looks so goofy. But, and I know there's ways to like, you can spray the inside of your mask so the foundation doesn't rub off and all that, but my poor face needs to breathe. But I totally forgot about tea tree serum because I keep my mind just go, tea tree just means like oily skin, but I know it is acne prone skin too, so good call, good call. Um, okay, the lower lash line. I think I'm going to do just brown underneath. Because I mixed the orange and the brown for the outer corner. I got pink glow going on in the middle. Looks it's like a super pretty combo. Those colors all mesh together very well. But I think I'm just going to do the brown underneath. We'll see. This is the little guy that got me yesterday morning in the eyeball. That works. I'm having so much fun trying all these different looks. I'm like, hmm, caramel, what can I do there? What was another one that I was struggling with last night? Gray, why would you wear? No one sees it, but I don't wear a mask much, so I do full face. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm like really, really excited. To, I'm going to do a live tonight um, with a super fun, crazy look. But I am going to do a full face. I'm like, I haven't done a full face in so long, but like I went to do it one morning. Cause Monday is when the mask mandate came out at work. And I was doing my makeup. I'm like, wait a minute. I... No, literally nobody's going to see me. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I see me and like, you know, my family at home and stuff. But usually half time when I get home, I wash my face anyways. Um, but at literally any time I'm not in my office by myself, nobody sees me. So it's like, okay, I'm, for one, I'm like saving on makeup a little bit. You know, and I haven't been doing blush and bronzer. I guess I could do bronzer up top. I totally forgot about that. 
I'll do that today. But I've just been focusing on my eyes, which is fun. And I have like a lot more time to focus on my eyes. Speaking of time, oh, we're good. We're way good. Actually, I can't go anywhere anyways. My husband's not home. When he gets home, the story. My toots is up there watching Mickey Mouse by herself. I'll come down. No! The girl in her Mickey Mouse. I really like this. It's like, I don't know, it's almost kind of like a smoky. Um, agree. Tea tree serum, spot treatment, and moisturize. Let your face breathe. Yeah, that's, I to like I said, totally didn't even think about the tea tree because I just, I have, I don't have oily, I have oily spots on my skin, but I don't have oily skin. And I don't have acne prone skin. I've never had an issue with acne. And it's not like it's super bad, but like I've got one here, which I never get breakouts there. I've got one down on my chin, which will happen once in a while. I've got this whole business going on here couple over here and it's like literally right where my mask is at so if I already am having problems I, I just don't think I need to be covering it up just let her breathe but yeah I will totally try tea tree I need to place an order anyways because my setting spray is dangerously low and then of course I always want to try new things loving that love 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 so pretty so caramel is what I was going for here I don't know if it exactly looks like caramel but it definitely looks pretty <laughs> what was the other one last night so it's like cause I've been trying to do these we got challenged to do all these like fun different looks and there's like squares and then it's bingo and all that jazz and um I'm like, ooh, these would be super fun to do, like, for work. Like, I can actually do these in the morning. Um, and I was trying to think last night. I, I had, I knew I was going to try caramel today. What was the other one? Oh, pumpkin spice. I was looking at, like, pumpkin spice ones and, like, a pumpkin spice inspired eye look and a caramel inspired eye look. I'm like, what's the difference? Like, <laughs> they're going to look the same, but they're not because I did a, I mixed stuff here, and then for pumpkin spice, I have a different plant. So it's going to be the same colors, but put on differently, if that makes any sense. I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer up top. I totally forgot. I could have totally been doing this. I can still bronze this part up here. Yeah, but as far as, like, bronzer you know like kind of contouring and blush and highlight and all that like you just highlight would literally be like right where my mask sits so that doesn't make much sense but it just gives me more time to focus on my eyes because normally for work I just do like super simple if any eyeshadow I would for uh, up until now I just pop on one of the creamy eyeshadows and call it a day which looks just fine I like playing. I definitely like playing. Okay. Lost where I was at. Set with transparent powder. Okay, set that. I just set that over top of my bronzer. Not the best idea. I think it would be okay. Whoops. Okay. Eyeliner and mascara. And we're calling her a day. So eyeliner. I'm going to do brown. I gravitate towards the black one so much. I think I'm going to do the brown one today. It's like I love to go with my caramel look here. Do some orange pop. Okay, do some orange pop with pumpkin spice brown sugar. It will make it different. That's what this is. I mixed together um, orange pop and brown sugar. I did um, pink glow all over. 
and then I mixed my brush in, I dipped back and forth between orange pop and brown sugar and dabbed it on my outer. So I did do that. But pumpkin spice, I got an idea. I'm gonna use both those colors, but not like, not the way I did today. If it works out that way. Tootsie! You come down here? It sounded like she was downstairs for a minute. I love how shimmery this is. This is so pretty. Not blend together, let it stand. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Love the mixture you made. Yeah, I was like looking at my, I was thinking last night because I was looking at pictures of like caramel inspired eyeshadows, all this, and I wasn't finding a whole lot. So I just like started looking at pictures of like caramel. Like, so there's caramel sauce, which is like a dark brown. And then there's like the squeezy caramel that they put on like caramel macchiatos, and that's like a lighter brown. I'm like, hmm. So sometimes it's more like orange, sometimes it's more brown. I was like, well, if I mix together orange and brown, that should work. Or do orange from Halloween palette. I don't have that palette. I don't know. I want that one so bad. That green in there. I mean, the, all the colors are so pretty, but that green. I love green. And that green in that Halloween palette is so pretty. Oh, but pumpkin spice, well, see, pumpkin spice be like pumpkin, but that's not the same thing. Never mind. I almost had a light bulb moment there. Now, I think I got a, a look kind of in mind for pumpkin spice, and I think it'll, it'll work. I might be trying something, a new technique, too. I think they'll probably do that one tomorrow morning. Use dark brown powder. Can make the orange look more like spice and excited. Ooh, good call. Good call, good call. One I'm struggling with big time is I'll probably do it on Sunday football, uh, football team. Well, I, I actually do enjoy watching football, like not like all day, every day, but my husband is a huge Cowboys fan. Therefore, we are, we are all Cowboys fans. And I was like, oh, that'll be easy. I'll do some blue and like some silver. And then I'm looking, I'm like, I don't have blue. I don't have silver. So I need to um, get kind of creative on that one because I, uh, I'm not so sure. Or I'm going to have to do like a rival team. <laughs> And piss him off. Oh man. Well, we'll see. Yeah, but I'm like, oh, that'll be an easy one. Not when I don't have any blue. Whoopsies. If you don't have a team fan, just do football theme. I, he had, he went through and I told him that one. He's like, oh, that'll be a good one because all these makeups, he's like, What's the difference between that one and that one? Like, like you just shush. But when I told him the football one, he's like, oh, that'll be good. And he's like, tell me like what I could do. And then he's like, oh, and I got these. So I have, he's really excited about that one. So I've got a good plan for that, for the football one. So it might be, I might have to cheat a little bit, but it'll still be, the point will get across. I'm having so much fun because you look at like, so I did, it's like s'mores. I'm like, s'mores is eyeshadow. Okay. I'm like, oh, here's my graham cracker. Here's my marshmallow. Here's um, my chocolate. Like, we'll blend them all together. And that one turned out super pretty. Pictures that, like, it didn't show as much in pictures as it, like, did in, like, the mirror. Because in the mirror, it was, like, it was super pretty. It faded perfect. I am so proud of myself on that one. Do you have 4th of July palette? No, I have no palettes. I suck. 
I have no eyeshadow palettes. I've got the creamy eyeshadows and I've got the um, the three creamy eyeshadows and the peach bite palette. So I need to place an order. None of my palettes have blue. I have every single eyeshadow I have is so neutrally colored other than I've got some random like purple. Ooh, I might be able to make purple work. Because purple is red and blue mixed together. Ooh, can you work backwards? <laughs> okay, I have some purple and browns. I've got like a blackish grayish color, so that could work. Yeah, struggle bus because... I'm a neutral girl and like I'm getting out of my comfort zone now, but I'm like, gosh darn it. <laughs> I need to, I need to expand. Definitely need to expand my horizons. Yeah, Katrina, it, the struggle is real. When all I ever wore was like mascara, blue eyeliner, nope, brown, black, white. <laughs> um... I used to only wear, I would wear eyeshadow once in a great while. So I am so thankful for pharmacy. There's so many reasons, but one of the big ones is because I like know how to do makeup now. But I would do eyeliner and mascara every day and that was it. Once in a great while I'd put eyeshadow on. But mascara, eyeliner, makeup done. And when I look back, I'm like, why did I not try anything with my face? Like, why did I not want to... You have white. I do. I got white. And then I have like um, a grayish, it was like a smoky palette that I got way too long ago. It's, I don't know. Does eyeshadow expire? Because we're talking like, I don't even want to say how many years ago because it's a long time. I actually did look up to see if makeup expires. My own time. I'm being all chatty Kathy and I still got time. Woohoo. Um... Oh, but I was like, when I found, when I found pharmacy, I was like, okay, I'm so excited, but I didn't have a whole lot to begin with. So I'm like, okay, I want to try all these makeup looks, but I don't have all this stuff. And I've slowly been building my collection, if you want, whatever you want to call it. And so like, usually about once a month, I'll like place an order and I'll, you know, try a few new things and I'll go crazy because my husband's like, you like, I'm like, but I am playing. <laughs> But I've been, like, I got skincare, so I've, like, been putting that in there, and I started getting the shampoo, and I need to talk about shampoo more often. Oh, my gosh. Um, but yeah, but, like, fun or, so I wanted to get, like, the stuff that I had, and because I wanted to compare, like, even though I was all about it and loving all the stuff I was trying, I still wanted to do comparisons on, like, other, you know, other brands that I had and see, like, okay, how is this so much better? Look for the jar on the bottom or back of product. It does expire. Oh boy. Oh, but when I did look up to see if makeup expires, because I had like a bunch of foundations and stuff, because I had, not a bunch, but a few that I had tried and nothing ever worked and I just kept it. When I looked up, like, does makeup expire? And it was like anything with water, like for sure does. And I'm like, well, there's all my foundations. There's all the mascaras I never wanted to try. There's, I mean, I threw a ton of stuff away. And my husband saw the garbage and he's like, you're just throwing it all away. I'm like, it's so old. I'm like, look at the dates on this stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm like water in it, like water mold, gross. Like who thinks about that kind of stuff? I didn't, but yeah. Anyways, there's that rant. I didn't used to go makeup shopping. <laughs> She, oh my gosh, she's just laying up there. Powders will last longer than anything. Yeah. Well, yeah, like I said, I didn't even think about it, but like I said, water is in most anything liquid-based. And obviously water gets moldy. That's disgusting. Yes, men. Don't think about that at all. Get you a blue. I know. And I'm thinking, I am, I have not tried a 
Um, and don't think about that at all. Oh, hey, Daryl. <laughs> that was a good train to still mention. Daryl, were you aware that foundation has water in it and then it gets moldy and you need to throw it away? That's what we're talking about here. Apparently men don't think that way. Um, but I have not tried a palette yet, like a palette, um, eyeshadow, like eyeshadow palette yet. So, <laughs> hi Daryl. Um, but those creamy eyeshadows, like I'm so obsessed with them and the blue is super pretty. So I don't know. The 4th of July palette is pretty legit though because that red is super pretty. I don't think I have a white. I don't have a white. I have like a creamy color. Had no idea. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Got any makeup questions, Daryl? I can, I can help you out. Mascara too. Mascara totally expires. Little things you don't think about. I'm so close to the end. And I have not poked myself in the eye yet. I'm so excited. I probably just jinxed myself. You need the Midnight Smoke Powder since 4th of July was limited edition. Oh, and it's probably gone by now, huh? Yeah, go figure. So Midnight Smoke, that would be fun because I don't need to do brown eyes all the time. So yeah, that one, Brown Vice, I've like wanted so many times. I just, they need to come out with more palettes. Rumor has it they're coming out with like larger palettes. Perfect. Good job. Thanks, Daryl. I'm not even getting it on my eyelid. I'm becoming like a pro here. We'll see how the lower lashes do, but... So what do you think? Did I nail caramel? Caramel inspired caramel colors. I said and that's debatable because caramel, depending on what kind of caramel you're looking at, you're looking at caramel sauce, caramel candies. So I think I did a pretty darn good job. Oof, got a little thick. We can fix that. Loving these looks on you. Thank you, Katrina. I'm loving that you make me do them. <laughs> Not make me do them. But challenge me to do them. I dig them. Totally dig them. So other than not getting a little I'm just going to go ahead and say I nailed that one. Proud of myself. Just don't look from here down. <laughs> or my nails. But speaking of nails, I was thinking about this this morning. This is um, Pharmacy has nail polish too. Oh, they have everything. Um, I think the light brown and brown mixed for caramel. I think the light brown and brown sugar mix for caramel. I got um powder. Is that what you're talking about? The I have I used the um bronzer a little bit to kind of even it out. But um what was I saying? Oh the nail polish. I painted my nails two weeks ago. And it says seven day wear. And that's two weeks. Like, this nail polish doesn't budge. I didn't put any top coat on it. I mean, they're in, like, a hot mess right now. But that's two weeks. Like, they're not chipped off. They're just, I mean, chipping. I was looking at them this morning. I'm like, was that last week I painted my nails? No. It was because I usually do it on Saturdays or Sundays. Usually Sundays. I'm like, no, this was Halloween. I didn't touch my nails this weekend. That was like, two weeks. I was just saying what I think of caramel. Oh, oh, oh gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, like I said, I was looking at like caramel looks and I 
couldn't really find anything. I looked on Google, I looked on Pinterest, and I was like, Ugh, darn it, anyways. So I just like Googled caramel, and there was an array, array of stuff that popped up. Okay, I'm gonna let my eye mascara. It's kind of dry. I don't even know if I'm gonna spray, actually. I just got BB cream up here. I'm not. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let it go. Okay, well, hubby should be home pretty soon, and then I gotta get my butt to work. I'm gonna go check on that little tuts up there, watching Mickey Mouse by herself. She's too busy to come down with mommy. But yeah, I'd say I did a pretty darn good job. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.